Welcome back. In the previous part, we just took out a big tank. We did some messing around, saw some awesome skills, some awesome S-crafts. I just did a lot of messing around to experiment with these probably limited time characters. So if you want to see that, end of the previous part. Anyway, let's progress with the story. We did it. Yes, we did. It's wholly inoperable. What was that? You... You would dare? Amalthea. You've lost. I was like, what was her name again? Come on. It's time to accept it and surrender. Don't you dare. A little setback like this will not stop me from rescuing the Colonel and fulfilling his vision. Julia, race has come. This is the end. I'll beat you into the mud myself if I have to. Come. Big words from someone who brought a tank to a sword fight. But alright, let's do it. The time has come to bring an end to this. Here I come, Kanano, eh? Yep. There's another fight? I was not expecting that. Alright, fine. Right, so. Clock down. It's gonna have to be there. Clock up on you, actually. Art, oh, um. Ragnar Blast, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe get your EP back up, I feel. It's a landmine. I saw that. You can't just place a landmine around and be like, oh, we're fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yes, Blood Rage. Probably not safe to do at this point. We'll wait for other things to happen. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> we'll try the Antisept on her. Stop wandering off. I resist. Okay. I imagine the little guys around her are actually quite weak, but, you know, you gotta be sure, haven't you? Geo catastrophe! Hey! Hey! I know, don't worry. It's all part of my plan. I want him to have a nice moment where he can actually be healed up by the rest of the other guys. Don't worry, don't worry, I know what I'm doing. At the boom. Click up EX over there, please. Ow! Ow! Alright, steady on. Right, yeah. Jeez, there's no need for that, is there? Anyway, where's my ice cream? Where's my ice cream? There we are, ultimate ice cream. I want ice cream! Okay, got my ice cream. Still not got a chance to properly do that. Hmm, do that. I want these little guys dead because I don't feel like these are going to be a problem, so it's sort of like, I don't want to waste too much on these guys. Oh, Frankrit, like, you got the mines everywhere. Right. Okay, so, um, is there a crit or anything coming up? There's not really, is there? I don't know what that thing's going to do if I don't destroy it, so... It's like, mm, wild rage. It's now we're at a point where it's like, they're all grouped up together. I thought it was 70% of the health he had, not 70% of his maximum. <sighs> Always a twit. Right, let's get him back up. We're good to go! I really thought it was 70% like of his health, not of the, the health he currently has. I need to reread that, because <laughs> clearly I took that the wrong way. Clearly. It's just like, wait, what? Let's just recover here from what's going on. Okay, let's... Max HP minus 70%. Or is it max HP? Yes, max HP, isn't it? Yeah, I took that the completely wrong way. My fault. My fault. We should be alright to do it now, shouldn't we? Yes! Fine. It's lovely. I knew we'd be fine. I knew it'd be great. Ultimate ice cream out on him. Yeah, you throw that out. It's always fine. I know exactly what I'm doing. Everything is great. Everything is as I planned it. Yes. It's like I could destroy her at any point at this point. It's just like messing around now. Okay, let's see. Let's let's, let's go with 
Yeah, we'll go with that. May as well see what it is. There you go. Bam. <laughs> Just because. She's gonna plant mines again. No. Okay. That's that's the thing I want to know. Is you're just gonna plant more mines? Right. Serious now. Serious now. Okay, so let's attack her, and then we'll jump in with this. I do see a crit coming up as well. I might hold on to that. I was gonna use. Stills on the other Sepith, but it's sort of like, mm, actually. Is he on range for magazine fire? Huh? Well, it's just not on. Ultimate ice cream. Ah, ice cream! Ice cream. Well, let's see here. Yes, you need a clock up, don't you? And a craft? No, let's go with normal tech. I take advantage of the crit avenue. Nice. Oh yeah, so you set that mine. Oh, that lovely, lovely. Let's hit her. There you go. Should have done that. Yeah. Forgive me. That, that, that is the end of it. I think my legs are gonna fall off. Well, we did fight her and her tank come back to back, you know? We did it, huh? Is it over? Duke Dunnan? Oh, hey, they threw you in the tank, huh? Um, well, yes. For once, Brigand, it seems I actually need to be thankful for your violent, lawless ways. As proof of my gratitude, I shall bestow upon you a magnificent work of art from my private collection. I, uh, think I'll pass, thanks. Still, no the Lord I hear gratitude from. Wait. Ren. Is Ren safe? What is this now? Oh, what is a Ren? A girl wearing a white dress. Is this she in the tank? I was the only one inside. Okay, you. Where's Ren? Where are you keeping her? Tell me! What? What are you? You really think you can play dumb at this point? The girl. The one you kidnapped from the girl house. Tell me where she is. Kidnapped? Girl? I see. So that was the plan all along. Yes, you were the diversion. What? <laughs> what in the... Amalthia. Again, I thought I was like, what was it again? Yeah, Amalthia. What's wrong with you? What's wrong? Everything. How could I not laugh at myself? I, Amalthia, captain of the intelligence division. I, the author of this plan to restore the Colonel to glory. I was played like a fiddle by a little girl. <laughs> How rude of you to call me a little girl. What's she doing up there? Um. <laughs> Good evening. Isn't the moon lovely tonight? Did everyone enjoy the tea party? I thought the explosions and screams were best myself. Oh. Oh crap. A kid? Ren? What? What are you doing, Ren? Climbing, climbing all the way up there. It's dangerous up there, you know? Oh, Ren, you really are like a cat. Okay, I'll climb up to help you down, so you just wait a... <laughs> There's no need. After all, this is the best seat. Only fitting for the master of the tea party, right? What? 
Enforcer number 15, the Angel of Slaughter. That is me, and I am Flynn. What? No, no. This is insane. A small child like that is a member of our Robberos? <laughs> Silly lady, there are no children or adults in the Grand Master's sight. Just useful people and useless people. And I, Lady Wren, am very useful. Just like the Black Fang used to be. What? So then... Hang on. You're the one who sent me that letter, right? Mm-hmm. That was me. Nine threatening letters. One letter to the churchman, one letter to the traitor lady, and one to Estelle. Twelve letters in all. <laughs> Feels like all I did was write, write, write. But even Nuve would compliment my handwriting now. So you staged this whole thing. Well, I'm the one who organized the tea party, you know. I couldn't let my guests be bored, could I? I worked really hard to make this fun. But, but then, what about your papa, your mama? And where are your parents? Huh? Oh, wait, you never ever realized. <laughs> I must be really good at this. Either that or you're just that dumb. Wait a minute, who are you calling dumb? <laughs> Don't be angry, Estelle. You mean these, right? Yes, I am Ren's father. I am Ren's mother. Oh. It's not my papa and mama, silly. I'm actually done with them anyway, so let's break them. You know that? I mean, they really do look like dolls now, don't they? Ooh, what? He, you. What did you do? Still, calm down. There's no blood. What? You, you're right. How? Society manufactured orbital puppets. And they look just like humans. How are they even... <laughs> they don't act like people when I'm... Not around, though. I'm pretty sure I'm at least as good as Petro from the Dole Knight. Oh, but this time I got kidnapped and had to be the master of a tea party. Some more like Princess Tia. Huh? Princess Wren has a nice ring to it. Of all the things to joke about. Oh, but you asked about Mama and Papa, right, Estelle? Let's call Princess Wren's real Mama and Papa now. Peter, Mater, come. What's that sound? From above, look. There's your Mac. What the? Yeah. He's gone. It's huge. The heck is that? We have that, thank you. Oh no. The gospel. This is my Peter Mater. As big as any papa, as kind as any mama. I don't need any of a papa or mama. There, her head. I'm trying to read what's on it. I can't. It's either like 17M or. I don't know. Hmm. There's clearly letters on it, but I'm trying to make it out. It's sort of like. It's not any obvious word. Might say a rubber ass, but I'm not sure. But anyway, there, head. Oh, what the heck is that thing? Oh, glad you woke up, guys. Some kind of giant... thingy? This is impossible. Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, look what's happened to you. He's completely dumbfounded. He's just like, he turned into Olivier back at the gate. You know, way back, way back, when we first met him. She's completely like, what has happened to you? What's going on here? Look what's happened to Sid! Ren? Everyone. <laughs> Yay, the sleeping medicine wore off just when it was supposed to. Just like Joshua taught me a long time ago. Joshua? How do you... You know, I was just gonna gut you like a fish and... What about your heart at the end of this, Estelle? After all, the professor says you're the reason Joshua won't come back. It's your fault. What? But I really, really had a lot of fun. So I think I can forgive you for now. But only this once, okay? Hmm? Wait, Ren. 
Alright, what's going on? <laughs> bye bye, Tita. I did have fun with you. Maybe we can share ice cream again someday. Well, everyone. Thank you for attending the tea party. Ciao. I would have gone with Toodle Pip, but alright. I ascend to the heavens. You, you wait right there, the top speed's only 10 miles per hour. Ren! I can't, I can't do that justice. Again, I don't want to scream at the top of my voice, you know. I'm no voice actor. The Royal Army spent the night searching with an entire airship squadron. But they could not find the massive orbital doll nor the girl who rode off on it. The next day... Captain Amal here, please, won't you cooperate with us? What kind of relationship did you have with that girl? What do you know about the society of Araberus? Captain Amalthia, stop being stubborn. At this point, you're making things worse, not only for yourself, but for your men as well. Can't believe that's what you want, is it? Hm. Huh. We all went into this prepared to lay down our lives. We need to come up with a better threat than that, Captain Schwarz. Stop trying to play the martyr. You saw it, same as any of us. That gigantic orbital weapon. Do you not understand that an organization which can field such a thing has infiltrated the kingdom? Do you not understand the gravity of this situation? Captain Amalthea. Colonel Richard is, in many ways, a lover of Le Burl. He wishes for us to be able to stand independently against the, any threat we would ever face. I know he wanted that, if nothing else. And now dark clouds gather in the skies above us. Do you not consider what he would do in this situ- Silence. Hmm? Silence, you pests. How dare you speak so casually at the colonel's feelings. You dogs gained your new oh-so-exalted positions by engineering his fall. Amalthia, would you? Oh, I have plenty to say to you too, Julia. You must be relishing every second of this, watching your long-time rival falling so far. Well, laugh then. Laugh and gloat to your heart's content. That's enough, Amalthia. I've crawled through filth and given all of myself to the realization of the Colonel's dream. Now that I failed, I no longer have a reason to live. So come on then, drag me to the firing line. Let's get this over with. That's a foolish thing to say. Is it just Canone? Is that it, just Canone? Uh, pardon me. General. General, why are you... I need to speak with Her Majesty about something related to our most recent case. I had some other business as well, so I thought I'd stop by. I only arrived in Grenzel a few hours ago. I see. Thank you for your help when you're so busy, sir. Cassius Bright, the author of all our suffering. So you've come to gloat over my fall too, have you? Yet to see me riddle with gunfire. Well, I certainly seem to be popular today. And here I was thinking I was actually so much of a lady killer as Richard. Ugh. How dare you, you. It wasn't for you, the Colonel. He would have. Ah, Cassius. I know you mean it in good fun, but don't tease it too much, yes? What? That was... How on earth? Yes, Richard, yes, yes. Colonel? Colonel Richard? It's been some time, sir. Yes, it has. Major, uh, ma Major, 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 uh, Lieutenant Colonel said, Captain Schwartz. And it's good to see you you safe as well. Canone. Could just be that, can it? Sir, I beg General Bride to allow me to leave my cell for a little while so that I could visit. You see, I have something I absolutely must say to you, Canone. To me? Yes. I'm sorry, Canone. I am so very sorry. I wrapped you up in my pride and narrow vision. I forced many bright young officers to shoulder the burden of terrible criminal deeds. I've wanted to apologize to all of you for a while now. No, sir, no. You forced us into nothing. We followed you freely. No, no, you didn't. But if you think you followed of your own will, in the end I pressured you into following my desires. The responsibility is mine alone. This makes what happened 
this person night my responsibility as well. Sir, no. So let me make, make a declaration. As of this moment, the Royal Army Intelligence Division is formally disbanded. All previous functions and duties are to be taken up by Army Headquarters, and all former staff should give Headquarters all due assistance. Canon, Captain Amalthea, thank you for, your lead, for leading my division in my absence until now. Sir, all that said, you no longer need to do crazy things like this any longer. You don't need to spend your life attempting to rescue me. So please, don't say such terrible things as bring me before the firing line. Please. Colonel, sir, Alan. Aw. Aw. You got a feel for this person who's potentially trying to overthrow everything. Yep. I see. Yes, understood. Thank you very much. Ellen, how'd it go? Seems as though Miss Amalthy is willing to answer questions. The Yama said they could contact the guild when they had something useful. Oh, that's good. Huh. That stubborn old mule is finally willing to spill her guts. What kind of trick they used? We can leave that to the army, I think. We have some things of our own to talk over. True enough. Now then, first allow me to provide you with your pay for this mission. This includes everything for all the small related tasks you had to undertake as well. Say, Estelle, do you really think Ren could be? Yeah. She named herself one of the enforcers, the Angel of Slaughter. If she's calling herself that, there's not really any doubt. There isn't, is there? S seriously? A girl like that is one of the society's crazy murder goons? Who have they actually killed? I remember any murder goons. Not enforcers supposed to be able to, like, break you with their pinky? Really don't think they're pulling some kind of trick here. No, I'm pretty sure she's telling the truth. Joshua. Joshua was about Ren's age when Dad rescued him from the society, and he told me he was made to kill way before then, even. You're kidding me. Either way, that girl pulled one of us over. She probably gave Amalfi the gospel and suggested that they get crazy with that damn tank. She seems to have been the source of the letters as well. Can't fathom why, though. I'm just guessing here, but... Maybe she thought it'd be fun? Hmm? Ren put this experiment of hers together as a tea party, right? And she set things up so that lots of people, especially us, would participate. Sort of like an invitation. It's kind of the feeling I get. With the love of Adios. We are here thanks to those letters, but to orchestrate it all just for her amusement. I can easily believe our little kitten is capable of such guile. She was, after all, very clever in balancing the amount of sleeping drugs she gave to us as well. It means she wanted us to arrive at the docks at just the right time. That takes serious planning. But she's definitely the one who put you guys to sleep. Almost certainly. It was just after I ate one of those cookies Ren got for us at the department store that my mind went fuzzy. It was one hell of a failure on our part. If she'd used poison, most of us would be having this conversation at the side of she who dwells above. Yeah. The failure there is entirely my own. As the person in charge of the mission and the guild house, I should have been far more cautious. Please forgive me. Oh, come on, Alan, then. Everyone's got a bit of blame for this. I don't think any one of us realized just how far the society was willing to go. Yeah, that giant archaism. Even Grandpa would have a really hard time making something like that. And even then, to, to make it move like that. And, and Ren. Oh, Tita. Come on, cheer up. Next time we see her, I'm dragging her out of the society. Feet first. What? Uh, Miss Nell? Five years ago, Dad rescued Joshua from the clutches of our Arboros, and we taught him what it was to be happy. I'm Cassie Sprite's daughter. So you know what? I can totally do the same thing. I'm going to drag her in out of the society of our by the scruff of her neck, if I have to. Estelle? Yeah. 
Yeah, we will. <laughs> that's our Estelle. Yeah, that's the spirit. Ah, such indomitable optimism. <laughs> You're making it sound easy, Estelle. That's just how our Estelle is. I think even your father would be bowled over by that much optimism. And I'll say I'm practically head over heels for, for you at this point. Oh, Father Kevin, we've been waiting for you. Yeah, sorry I'm late. Archbishop Corrent was uh, not exactly thrilled with me. Got on a really good lecture tear, so he held back a bit. Uh, what's up? Do I have a gun my face or something? Okay, so you are to know about a skull eater or whatever, but you never did answer my question. Who the hell are you really, Kevin? Hmm, good point. You've been kind of good at dodging the particular question, father. You aren't really just some wandering priest, right? I did promise that I'd explain everything to you, Estelle, right? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Kevin Graham, and I am a priest, but I'm a priest of the Growl's Ritter of the Septian Church. A pleasure to properly meet you all. A Growl's Ritter? Oh, beg your pardon, but I would never imagine someone as young as you to be one of the Holy Grail's Ritter. And if yet you know who they are? You're aware that the Church has a duty to take custody of all ancient Sumerian artifacts, yes? Investigation and retrieval of such items is the work of an arm of the church called the Graalsritter, the Grail Knights. Oh, what an odd thing to be called, yes. Their member list is not public knowledge, but they are said to be artifact experts and combat masters to a man. Dang, you uh, know a lot about us. I don't know if you'd call me a master, though. Kind of the fresh-faced new guy on the team. Artifact retrieval. Oh, now I get it. That's why you had Mayor Dalmore's staff. Yeah, the Royal Army gave me that for safekeeping when I first came to Laburl. Laburl and the church have an agreement to hand over all artifacts found, you see. What reason Archbishop Current was uh, kind of ticked off is because I broke that one, mind you. Now I see. I hope he wasn't too angry. He really saved us and there wasn't any other way. So that means, even in this grand plan that Ren had, she planned for that artifact to be smashed? Impressive. Yeah, we didn't have time to be what I'd call choosy. Thanks for that. Anyway, hopefully we can work together a bit more in the future, eh? If we learn anything new about Ouroboros, let's swap info again. Say, so how do you know about Ouroboros anyway? Well, the main reason I came to Labur was to investigate the society. Let's just say we've known about them for a while now. And to be more precise, I came to investigate the Shining Ring, the Aureli. What's Aureli? Our Oreo. Our Oreo. Uh, that's it, isn't it? Our Oreo. Uh, that they seem to be after. Gasp. The Our Oreo. One of the Holy Septarians granted to the ancient Sumerians by Edios herself. The legendary artifact that we thought slept beneath Gransel Castle. Yeah, exactly. There have been some people asking a whole lot of specific questions about the Septarians across the entire continent. I kind of caught the church's eye, let me tell you. And then we learned about the whole hullabaloo with the ruins beneath Grunsel Castle. And the... Aurel... 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 During the coup. So they sent me the fresh face. And, uh, expendable new guy to see what's what. So that's the story. So hang on. You think the Aurel really is in the burly? When we didn't find it beneath the castle, I thought it was just a legend after all. Do we even have any idea what it is, beyond the legendary description of a shining ring? Bringing out the truth of the thing is part of my job. So yeah, I wanted to come by today and explain what's up. If anything more happens, I'd say we work together. Now I get it. Yeah, alright, I'd be happy to. It'd be a big help for us too. Yeah, I'm down with that idea. If anything comes up, give us a buzz. Fantastico. Fantastico. Alright. Okay. Gotta go get my ear chewed off some more. See you, folks. And he's gone. He's quite good at putting people off balance in a different way than Olivier. 
<laughs> Just me, he still needs training. Could stand to be a bit more elegant. Realize there is exactly zero elegance in your stream of constant nonsense, right? Still all this interest in Aureole? Aureole? Do you think this has something to do with the gospel experiments the society's been performing? From what we've heard, that is a definite possibility. On that note, there's that's three of LaBelle's regions that have suffered gospel-related experiments now. I fear that Nafford Roland don't both eh, will avoid that touch at this point. Hiccups then. Good point. Seems like things are pretty calm here now. I think it's time for us to move on. Which means we should get to either Roland or Bose as soon as we can. Telephon! Hello, yes, this is the Garnsel branch of the Brace Guild. What? Oh, I see. Understood, we'll be on our guard. Yes, take care. Something going on, Ellen. They finally got something out of our little coup, lover. No, this is different. Though perhaps not unrelated. The Sky Bandits have appeared in Bose. What? The Intelligence Division and the Bandits? Heck of a busy night. Where did they show up? And the fort they used as a base in the Bose Canyons, apparently. The army had repurposed it as a training ground. It seems they stole back the ship they used to used to use and escaped. You're kidding. Oh, that would be the one Mueller went to retrieve? Oh, wait just a second. Isn't this like really convenient timing? Yes. Does the society have a hand in this too? I can hardly deny the possibility at this point. In any case, it may be wise for you to travel to Bose. I'll say. Good idea, probably. No way to know where these goons will hit next, so we should be on the net. Oh, on the net. Yep. On the move. Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. You're coming along. Hey, with the intelligence division all cleaned up, my job is done. You guys are trying to climb a frigging mountain here, so I figured I'd give you a hand up. Really? Yay, Agate's coming with us. I'll be counting on the power of that heavy blade of yours, Agate. Welcome to the team. Yeah, thanks. Oh, Adelaide, so you coming too? <laughs> Sorry, I'm afraid not. Oh, well, it's, what's the, it's not even worth playing the rest of this series now, is it? Kurt's group should be getting back from their training soon. I'm going to team up with them again. Oh, okay. Team up, does that mean you'll be working against the society too? Yeah, I think we're going to look into finding their base. Uh, base? Given our Roboros' movements and actions to date, they must have some sort of base of operations somewhere in Laburl. Till we find that and take it down, this game of cat and mouse will simply never end. A feeling we'll be working even more closely with the army in the weeks to come. The Royal Army seems to be doubling her efforts against the society, yes. We'll need their help to put an end to this. Doesn't make sense to have another anti-society team, I suppose. Well, I guess Kurt's team is going to need plenty of firepower, too. Can't complain about them getting Annalise in that case. <laughs> Sorry. Once you find these snacky jerks. Alright. I'm sure we'll need a lot of help to beat them. We'll fight them together then, okay? Yeah, we will. Hello, hello, hello. I love a base. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna land it anywhere here. No one minds? Okay, I'm just gonna land it. Sorry, made a noise. But hey, those silly little flying machines were no match for us. Thanks, Peter Mater. You go sleep for a bit, okay? Boy. Right. Guess I will. Welcome back, Ren. Can I go now? I need to sleep. Louvé! I'm back, back. I went and did the experiment just like you asked. I know, you did a very good job. Got a little creative with it too, eh, hey, Teapotty? It's because you told me not to kill anyone this time. I had to do something to make it a little less boring. I thought a tea party would be lots of fun. And it was. We had tea and crumpets and explosions. How ladylike it is. So how did the experiment itself go? I think it went okay. A mean guy from the church kind of sported it with a nasty trick. Ah. Uh, but it was fine otherwise. We can use them in real combat if we want. Very good. 
I thought we couldn't make lots of crossbows, though. How are we going to use them as weapons if we can't? Mass production of them isn't necessary. These tests are simply to determine the full capabilities of the gospels. We aren't trying to make a weapon out of it. Really? Well, whatever. Doesn't matter to me either way. Have you found Joshua yet? I think we have. A number of the dolls we sent out to act as a diversion were destroyed. It's very likely he's responsible. So he's still hiding. Aww. I'm good at playing hide and seek, but even I'm not as good as Joshua. Mm, I hate this. Why is he being so stubborn? Why can't he just come back home to the society? To us? Well, it's weird too. Esther said it's all Estelle's fault Joshua won't come back. But she told me she's been looking for Joshua too. Why would she say that if she's keeping Joshua from coming back to us? Ren, I won't be so quick to accept everything the professor says. Huh? Truth can change depending on one's perspective. Just as how people can see different shapes on the same moon. I mean, like how some people see a face and others see a crap. That's right. The professor's truth may be uh, different from your truth. You need to reach for your own truth. Based on what you yourself see and feel. Um, sounds confusing. I just think I get it. Persona 4 Golden, right? I really like Estelle. I liked everyone, actually. They're nice and they gave me snacks. Tito was fun to play with, too. Don't really feel like murdering them. Very good. Nope, oh, head pats. You're a good girl, Ren. <laughs> Indeed, you're a very good girl, Ren. And a very good worker. Oh, hi, Professor. And Campanella. Hello there, Ren. Looks like you had a good time in Gransel, hmm? Yeah, kinda. Oh, if I knew you were coming, I'd have invited you. It was a lot of fun, you know. <laughs> now I feel bad that I missed it. I had to put on a nice little puppet show for a big burly bracer. Wasn't nearly as enjoyable as what you did, I think. <laughs> Perhaps you should have reserved the better seat ahead of time, Campanella. By the way, Ren. Couldn't help but over here. You said you... You were rather fond of Estelle. <laughs> sure am. She wasn't nearly as nasty a person as you said, Professor. She's nice. Mm-hmm, <laughs> Ren. It's not nice to put words in people's mouth. I never said she was a bad person. If anything, I agree with you. She is both a charming and fascinating young lady. You simply said that she's part of the reason Joshua has yet to return to us. Don't you agree, Louvet? I won't deny that she's part of the reason, yes. Well then, that should clear things up. What do you think, Ren? In the circumstances, should we make Estelle one of our friends? What? Make Estelle one of our friends? Yeah, yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. She's kind of on the weak side right now, but if we teach her how to kill right, I bet she'd be really powerful. And if Estelle joins us, Joshua will come back, right? I think it's safe to assume as much. <laughs> oh, Professor. I always knew you had a great taste, delicious. That's kind of that's going, going a little too far with your jokes, Professor. Remember, all who serve the society must do so of their own free will. That is one of the core laws of our Oberos. You need not remind me of the Grand Matters... Grand Matters? Yep. Grand Master's Edicts, Duvet. Do you really think I, I, an Angui, would break such a law? Neither you nor Joshua were forced into anything, were you? In any case, breaking her will would be so dissatisfying. When she joins us, it would be entirely of her own volition. Mm-hmm. Please form your party. You may choose two of a members aside from the mandatory members. I mean, I'm still going with my normal group, so I like it. Now. Okay. And next up, Bose! We're ready. Shall we head to the port? Royal Army is also working on the Sky Bandit case, remember? There's no pressing need for us to depart immediately for once. That's true. Let's take our time to finish up stuff and then go. Oh, the chapter didn't end. Right, so, we are actually going to end this part here then, and we'll do the rounds, see what's going on with some quests, because I imagine there's some about here and there. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.